welcome now the next two type of viral hepatitis we are going to discuss is hepatitis c and e there is nothing much about that discussion the main discussion when it comes to viral hepatitis it is related to hepatitis b that we have seen in the previous lecture now coming to c and e c it is transmitted by the blood and the body fluids so it can be transmitted perinatal it can be transmitted percutaneously sexual right the blood and body fluids basically now c is very peculiar that the symptoms in the hep acute hepatitis c is very subtle very minute symptoms will be there when it comes to acute hepatitis c in the acute hepatitis c the symptoms are very subtle most of the time 80 percent will progress to chronic hepatitis c mostly the hepatitis c 80 percent of time it will convert into chronic and whatever is converted into chronic 20 percent will resolve after uh, see uh, if there are 100 patients are there 80 percent will go to the chronic 20 will recover and it is the rarest cause of fulminant hepatitis it is the rarest cause of fulminant hepatitis right when it comes to the let's say for example there is a patient of hepatitis c as we have discussed 80 uh, 80 percent will progress to chronic 20 percent will resolve now whoever goes into chronic there is a chance of cirrhosis there is a chance of hepatocellular carcinoma so only eight, uh, see 80 percent will go to chronic and out of 80 out of 80 20 percent will convert into cirrhosis and whoever converts into cirrhosis almost 25 percent out of that will convert into hepatocellular carcinoma so Hepatitis C is the one that is very commonly leading towards the cirrhosis. Hepatitis C. Hepatitis B does not that often converts into cirrhosis. But hepatitis C, because 80% of hepatitis C is converting into chronic. And out of chronic, you can see that the 20% are converting into cirrhosis. But in hepatitis B, it doesn't happen. In the hepatitis B, the chronic is very common, very common. But cirrhosis is not common. When it comes to cirrhosis, which hepatitis is leading to the cirrhosis most commonly it is hepatitis c in the hepatitis c the symptoms are very subtle the nausea vomiting jaundice they will be very less we can have some extra hepatic manifestations and the mnemonic for that is lapsy in the hepatitis c there is increased risk of lichen planus that you have discussed in the dermatology the 5p the purple polyglonal the flat right that is the lichen planus a stands for autoimmune thrombocytopenia. P stands for they're going to be porphyria. There is increased risk of porphyria, cutanea, tarda. That we have discussed in biochemistry also in the chapter of heme. S stands for Jogren, Jogren syndrome and c stands for cryoglobulinemia so there is increased risk of lapsy in a patient of hepatitis c there is increased risk of lapsy now when it comes to hepatitis c actually in the hepatitis b there were three antigens right in the and against them the three antibodies were made but in the hepatitis c we have just one antigen that is hepatitis b RNA antigen because hep uh, sorry hepatitis C RNA antigen because hepatitis C is a RNA virus so that the RNA is going to work like antigen so we have only one antigen and we are going to make the antibody against that so if a patient is having hepatitis C there is HCV RNA antigen that is going to be there if that is only present if only and only antigen is there no antibody it is incubation period if the antibody comes against the HCV RNA the antibody is made and it is IgM type this is acute hepatitis C if the antigen is there antibody is there but the igg type then it is a chronic hepatitis c and if only antibody is there then it is recovered infection recovered chronic hepatitis uh, recovered hepatitis c infection so in the hepatitis c the serology is very simple we have only one antigen one antibody if only antigen is there means that is the hcv rna if only antigen is there then it is incubation period if you have antigen with antibody then it can be acute or chronic if it is igm it's acute if igg it's chronic if and if only antibody is there it's recovered the treatment is you have to give antiviral because there is very high chance that hepatitis c will convert into chronicity and for that you are going to give sofa sobuvir sofa sobuvir is a printing mistake 
sofa supervive and velpartsavir velpartsavir for 12 weeks and if the patient develops cirrhosis then you will give glecapavir glecapavir or plebrentasavir so these are some tongue twisting names to be remembered initially we will give the sofa supervive with velpartsavir and if the cirrhosis is there we will add on these drugs this is all about the hepatitis c the main thing is the hepatitis c leads to cirrhosis c leads to cirrhosis when it comes to hepatitis e e spreads via the fecal oral route mainly it can be transmitted via transplanted placental but mainly fecal oral it is uh, there is no chronic state that will lead to the acute hepatitis and there is very high chance of mortality in pregnancy it leads to fulminant hepatitis 20% mortality is there if this hepatitis e occurs during the pregnancy 20% of the times it converts into fulminant hepatitis during the pregnancy not in the normal individuals but in pregnant ladies and there is again there is one antigen one antibody the antigen that is there is hee hev rna and the antibody against that and we don't have to give the antiviral because there is no chronic state only and only acute so we just have to give the supportive management so if you see that the antiviral agents has to be given if there is chance of chronic infection for the acute viral infection we don't give the antivirals right the antivirals will be given for hepatitis b hepatitis c or hepatitis d but for a or e there is no antiviral needed because they have only and only acute phase there is no chronic right and there is no chronic there is nothing to worry because there is no good nothing is going to be there is not going to be cirrhosis there is not going to be hepatocellular carcinoma in a and e so we don't give antivirals but for b c d there is a chance of chronic and there is chance of further complications so we give antivirals in b c d now let's see these some one liners from the hepatitis part the most common acute viral hepatitis first let's talk about acute in the child the most common acute viral hepatitis is hepatitis a in the adults most common is e and in pregnancy also e it is acute not overall if i say overall which is the most common viral hepatitis in the pregnancy hepatitis b overall if i say acute then it is happy but overall which is common happy the most common mode of transmission of happy vertical from mother to child the most common cause of chronic hepatitis chronic hepatitis hepatitis b most common cause of hepatocellular carcinoma hepatitis b most common carrier state hepatitis b but if they say most common cause of cirrhosis cirrhosis occurs in the hepatitis c c cirrhosis is c but if they ask overall which is the most common cause of cirrhosis overall not the viral overall the most common cause viral cause of cirrhosis hepatitis c but if they say overall most common cause of cirrhosis alcohol undoubtedly alcohol which is the most common acute viral hepatitis which can be fulminant acute viral hepatitis fulminant hepatitis d but if i change the question the most common viral hepatitis which is fulminant in pregnancy then the answer will be e in pregnancy the fulminant is c but overall d and overall which is the most common cause of fulminant hepatitis not viral overall which is the most common cause of fulminant hepatitis it is drug toxicity that is acetaminophen toxicity acetaminophen toxicity drug toxicity so these are some of the one liners to be remembered the overall which is the common hepatitis uh, and acute if the first three questions are related to acute viral hepatitis avh acute viral hepatitis and the remaining questions are related to overall acute and chronic both right so this is all about from the hepatitis part the viral hepatitis the hepatitis a to e right the important concern is going to be the serology of hepatitis b that is very very important right thank you